All right, number 460, Michael Hicks looked great out there all day, right from practice to the main events. Yeah. Uh, interesting uh, restart for that last one. Obviously, the only person that was upset was you yeah. on that, that's for sure. But uh, let's talk about it, man. How did it go out there? Uh, it was awesome. The uh, track was, I mean, I loved it. Probably one of my favorite tracks so far. And uh, yeah, first race, um, got a uh, second. And then, so, then the second race, uh, got a good, I missed my gate. I went up late because the gates were so close, so I missed it. And I had a bad gate and then ended up getting stuck behind a guy. He fell stuck on him so then I, I come back to fifth so all four of us were tied for uh second so yeah so oh wow okay yep so a whole shot at the one and then they red flagged it and starling had fallen and he was buried uh, he might have gotten up to about six is whatever he had to do to get uh first but and then yeah so i'm like sitting on the gate i was so mad so uh just went and did it again freaking hole shotted who's your tires hooked up great and uh got me a whole shot and then uh starling is behind me and you know, I just kind of let him go by me. There's no reason to fight it. He's a one-one-one, so there's no no way I would have beat him. So, but uh, yeah, my bike's awesome. Tight loop team. Uh, I think can't thank them enough. And uh, yeah, but happy to be out here in Florida and uh, we'll uh, be at Daytona on Saturday. All right. So you said you were comfortable in second. I was talking to Justin, and he said he was. You know, you could see him take, looking over his shoulder. He saw where you were, but you you couldn't be that comfortable because you had Michael Lessie behind you in that last one. Yeah, I figured I just kind of. Uh, it's hard to you know stay in front, and I knew I might have you know pushed it too hard trying to be starling for no reason too so let him got, go by me and, and then uh he's riding awesome and uh just tried to latch on to him and it worked out great mike didn't make any uh time upon me and then uh ended up getting second so i'm uh, pretty stoked on the night nice nice yeah the top five guys you guys really spread yourselves out there from the rest but uh the track completely different from the uh, years i've been here before uh what did you think of the track a little more a uh, little more jumpy yeah i loved it jumpy. uh it's like Super cross kind of with rhythms, but not so gnarly and uh, really flowy. I, I mean, I loved it. That's probably one of my favorite tracks so far. I love night tracks like that. And uh, but yeah, I'll definitely be back next year. Nice. All right, now you're kind of jumping all over the place, doing some arena cross, doing some super cross. What's the plan for the rest of the season here? Yeah, I finished my uh, fourth consecutive arena cross title um, for uh, general tire arena cross and then uh, started doing the East Coast 250. And I uh, had, have, have had some bad luck so far. Uh, it's my first time doing a full season, so I'm just trying to get through it safe and learn. And, uh, but yeah, just like to get better at Supercross and just kind of see where we can go with it. All right, man. Well, hey, congrats. You look great out there. We noticed you very early, obviously, out there in practice, even. You look good. Uh, congrats on a good showing out here, that uh, second place. You got to be happy. Good luck in Daytona, man. Who would you like to thank? Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I want to thank Tyler Honda, Stormlight Honda, 60 FXR, X Brand Goggles, Renegade Fuel, uh, Rangeline Group, uh, Pro Taper. Uh, just everybody help me out. Thank you so much. All right, Michael Hicks, cheer for him this weekend at Daytona. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.